Hi, this is the first introductory video to Liberty SPS WP. So let's start saying that TSPS WP means Toolkit for Sensing People in Spaces with Phones. The idea behind Liberty SPS WP is that Liberty SPS will help you sensing people, sensing things, sensing moving things in front of the camera of your phone and streaming that information to a processing sketch. So let's get started. Download Liberty SPS WP from the App Store and open it. You will see on your phone three views. One is the live feed of your camera and then you have a vision and a communication tab. To get started, download Liberty SPS from the Contribution Manager from Processing. After you have downloaded Liberty SPS, you are ready to create your first sketch. So go on and import WebSockets and Liberty SPS WP. After importing Liberty SPS and WebSockets, go ahead and create a Liberty SPS WP object. Then in your setup, the first thing you would like to do is to create the first instance of Liberty SPS WP. The constructor of Liberty SPS accepts a reference to the applet, in this case is this, and the IP address of your smartphone. Know that your smartphone needs to be on the same Wi-Fi network as your computer. To find your IP address, just open the communication tab on your smartphone. In my case is 192.168.1.13. So the simplest information data that you can receive is a bounding box. A bounding box is just a rectangle that contains vision data. The method on bounding box received has three parameters. The first one is a container for bounding boxes. The second parameter is the number of blobs that are received. The last parameter is a reference to the IP address of the sender in the case you have multiple phones sending data to you. I'm going to create a variable that will keep track of how many blobs are sensed from Liberty SPS. After creating this variable, I'm going to draw that number on screen. Now I'm ready to start my first sketch. As you see, every time I receive new information data, I'm going to save the number of blobs and I'm going to print that on screen in my sketch. The number of blobs is the number of the areas that are detected from the computer vision algorithm. As you can see, if I put my hand in front of the camera, the number of, blob, the number of blobs is increasing. If I want to have more details of what is happening behind the hood of the algorithm, I can go in the vision tab tab has four option panels. These panels are showing different stages in the computer vision algorithms. In the first panel I can apply a filter, a, a blur filter. Very common action is thresholding. Thresholding means converting a grayscale image that is the difference between the current frame and the background that you saved before and transforming it in a black and white just two channel image. With the last panel I can change the number of blobs and the minimum size and the maximum size of the blobs. In the next videos we will explore how to make sense of the bounding box and how to print the bounding box onto the processing sketch.